What's up everyone? This is the Coral Reef Talk. My name is Danielle and today we're going to talk about finding dory and what that means to the coral reef hobby. Finding Dory is a movie about a hippo tang with short-term memory loss searching for her home. Now I love animated movies and I'm all about watching Pixar featured films, but what does this mean about the reef aquarium hobby? In 2003 the movie Finding Nemo was released with its lovable character Nemo and children nationwide fell in love. The movie Finding Nemo increased the sale of clownfish by 30%. Clownfish became a pretty popular fish, but now with the release of Finding Dory, the focus is centered upon the hippo tang, and I'm sure children everywhere are going to love Dory if they don't already know about Dory. The hippo tang, which is always in high demand, is being overfished. Fishers everywhere are venturing farther out into the ocean to find this tang that we all know and love in our reef aquarium hobby. This species has a high mortality rate and is considered to be an ick magnet if you don't know how to properly quarantine or even take care of this fish. Hippo tangs are usually the topics of forums with help me printed really big. Uh, what's this white stuff on my hippo tang? I just got this fish and he's already not doing well. With the release of Finding Dory soon approaching, I'm sure kids everywhere are going to want a hippo tang of their own in their aquariums. I'm really excited to see this movie, but will it cause more demand for this fish? It's plastered everywhere. We have cups already, food containers, posters, and then once the movie's out, even more and more and more. Hopefully sooner than later, the hippo tang will become a captive bred solution and rise to meet the demand of this lovable fish. Like I said, hippo tangs are a lovable fish and they're a great fish to have in your aquarium. And I'm not saying don't go out and buy one. But how are you able to help? Parents, if your little one has to have a dory of their own in, the, in your home aquarium, research, research, research. Learn how to take care of this fish properly before purchasing one. And if you're working at a local aquarium retail store, please continue to educate your customers on how to properly take care and maintain this fish. So with all of this in mind, let's save dory so that in the long run, we're not trying to find Dory. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know how you think the film Finding Dory is gonna affect the reef aquarium hobby. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.